Hi, Mike with Mike's Carburetor Parts here. Uh, I'm going to do a series of videos on rebuilding this Carter one barrel. This is the uh, Carter RBS type of carburetor. Uh, this particular one happens to be on a snow cat, I hear, but at any rate, uh, we're going to rebuild it. Um, let's see here. So I'll take the. Uh, I did a video on this once before. I, I I took one apart, did a video, but then I uh, I couldn't rebuild it for well, I can't remember why now. Uh, but anyway, it's been a long time since uh, uh, in between. I just now got one I can rebuild. I keep looking for a good core, but they're pretty scarce. Anyway, had a customer needed one uh, rebuilt. And, I don't normally rebuild carburetors anymore, but uh, since I need to do a video on this one, I decided to go ahead and do it. So this is the float bowl. And uh, this has a nitrofill float in it, and you want to be sure you replace that. Uh, nitrofill tends to absorb fuel over time and uh, they just aren't worth messing with. So fortunately you can still buy the float for these. Okay, the needle and seat. jet in here, the main jet. Okay. Okay, let's uh, take this off. Now there's several different RBSs, but in general, the rebuild will be the same. Now because the altitude, he wanted to re uh, jet it, but uh, we may have trouble finding a jet for this one. I don't know what we're going to do yet. All right, so uh, these plugs come out. Now watch when you take this apart, everything's going to fly around. See, here's your little cap. Then you got a spring. And uh, not all that stuff is available anymore, so you do have to be careful. I have a little diaphragm in here that uh, comes out like that. Be very careful you don't uh, bend this rod. Uh, this diaphragm is going to be replaced on here. You can see how it's crimped. We'll, there'll be a little crimping tool in the kit and you just get the diaphragm, you don't get the rod, so be careful you don't uh, mess the rod up. Alright, so uh, let's see, this here.
Okay. Accelerator pump well, same thing. That comes out. There's your accelerator pump with the return spring. Okay, and that's basically uh, all as far as you need to go. I wouldn't take the uh, throttle body apart uh, unless you have reason to. If it's uh, rusted or something, corroded, and you need to get it cleaned up, then by all means take it apart. Uh, let's see. The thermostat uh, was broken in transit. I hope that uh, I can scrounge one up. I'm not sure whether new ones are available or not. I think I think we can. I think we have them. I think I can. I think I can. Now that's very nice and loose. Um, if it sticks at all, you're gonna have to take this plug out um, and uh, clean it out with a wire brush. Uh, the housing doesn't come off necessarily. All of this can come off, but again, uh, unless you have a reason to leave it alone, uh, these are very easily damaged, bent and broken, and the whole smear. So this would be your basic rebuild at this point. Um, so if you can just keep it at, uh, down to this level, uh, uh, that's that you're just fine. Okay, I'm just going to leave those other rods in there for now, uh, so we can get it clean. But there you go. Let's take this off. That's a vent or a vacuum line. This particular.